didn't even see you guys coming, you know. I, I just... I was right. What was, what was I right about? You, you must be spooks, huh? Spooks? CIA spooks, right? Say something, will you? Please. I was I wasn't right about it. No, I wasn't right. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was... You guys are from NASA. I mean, uh, he, he's their spokesman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, you think if, if anyone had the information that he's got and had a national podium to shout it from, that they actually let him do it. No, it's quite clear that he's a disinformation junkie for him. The fact that he's still alive says it all. I mean, he probably should be dead, but he's not. Can you prove any of No. Absolutely not. A good conspiracy is um, an unprovable one. If you can prove it, I mean, they must have screwed up somewhere along the line, and then that's the case. Yeah. They. Yeah. They who? I mean, they, they monitor everything. Absolutely everything. Elaborate on they. 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 Well, well, there's lots of groups, actually. Lots of initials. I mean, CIA, FBI, IMF, you name it. They. But really, they're part of the big two opposing factions. Which are? Which are? What? One. One. Oh. Some of them are really, really wealthy families. Their one thing is to maintain stability, or at least that's what they call it. The other group is Eisenhower's industrial military complex. And they want to maintain instability, so they say. So you're saying that group one is warring with group two? Yes, at some levels they're at war. But at other levels, it's the same group. It's really scary. I mean, it's hand in glove. You know, Cold War's hot wars. Then they sit back and watch the whole damn dumb show. I think the more important question is, who are you? Those are much bigger questions than you think. I work the Central Intelligence Agency and the MK Ultra program. Mind control, Manchurian candidate kind of stuff. That's a vulgar generalization. But yes, uh, you take an ordinary man and turn him into an assassin. That was our goal. Now, MK Ultra was the research that I continued. It involved hallucinogenic research, electroshock to induce vegetative states, terminal experiments in sensory deprivation, resulting in death. MK Ultra was science, sanctioned by the government. The moment that John Hinckley shot Ronald Reagan, Pandora's box opened.